Hey guys, it's Kendra. Today I have empties for you. These are products that I have used up completely that I want to give you my full review on. I have a lot of stuff to talk about. I'm not sure when the last empties I did was. I don't even know. But I hope you guys all enjoy this and let's get into it. So I will start with all these wipes. I have two of these water wipes. These are uh, baby wipes and I love them. I went through so, so many. I just saved a couple just so I could show you guys, but I ordered them in bulk on Amazon. I would get the box and it had, I don't know, I think nine of these in there and they're chemical free. It's 99.9% .9 water and 0.1% fruit extract. And these were great because I didn't really want to put anything on them as newborns. So I decided to just stop using them now because I have so many other wipes that I just need to use. So right now I'm using ones by 7th generation, which I like too, but these are really great. So I definitely recommend them. Next I have the Baby Ganex Toy Table and High Chair Wipes. These are fragrance free. I like to use these for their pacifiers. We have so many Wubba Nubs. They're the pacifiers with the little animal attached to them. So what I do is use these to kind of clean them off and then I'll rinse it off in the sink and I use these on kind of just anything and everything in our house. So these are fragrance-free, non-toxic, plant-based, and they're just safe. So again, would recommend those. I have the Alba Botanica Hawaiian 3-in-1 Towelettes. These are my favorite makeup removing wipes. I don't take my makeup off with them. I always wash my face to take my makeup off using either an oil or a balm, something like that. I use these more so for, I keep them at my makeup table and I use them to get rid of swatches, to clean up the area, that sort of thing, but they're just really convenient to have on hand. These are the ones that I always buy. These ones are from Marshalls. They're only $1.99. It's the smaller one though, like the travel size, but I always have these. Next I have this scrub from Deep Steep. This is one of my favorite companies for bath products. This is a fresh honey, honey, honey sugar scrub and honey blossom. And it was really, really good. I think this is kind of new to their company. It is a really uh, oil-based scrub. So it leaves that residue on your skin, which I prefer because when you get out of the shower, you don't need to put a lotion on. I actually use this and then I shave my legs and it acts as kind of a barrier in between. It's not a super abrasive scrub. If you want something that's really gritty, then this isn't the product for you. It's more of a gentle scrub and just a more moisturizing scrub, but I really, really liked it. Next I have a candle. This is the Tropical Fruits and Freesha Scented Candle from World Market. I really like World Market candles. This one smells super fresh. It's a really good springtime scent. I think they still have this one there, but I also like it because I think it's really cute. It kind of reminds me of the Anthropology candles. So yes, I would definitely get this one again too. Also have a candle from Marshalls. This is the Soy Blend Scented Candle in Cinnamon Sticks. And what is the brand of this? Star Candle Company. I think it's really cute in this little tiny mason jar. Smells so good, kind of like a sugary cinnamon, like a sweeter cinnamon. And I'm trying now to get only soy candles. I don't think that one's soy. This one is soy and it's hard to find them for some reason, but really, really enjoyed this. I have two soaps from Mrs. Myers. This one is in honeysuckle and this one is lavender. I like them both, honestly. I like the honeysuckle one a lot, but I don't like that it's yellow. I'm not a huge fan of yellow in our house. I like the lavender one more because <laughs> I just like the color more, but I do like the scent of this one too. I just like these. They're nice looking. They have good ingredients, so I would get those again. I went through some more vitamins. These are the prenatal vitamins that I use. I've used them starting before I was even pregnant and I'm using them now after being pregnant. So they're the Garden of Life Vitamin Code Raw Prenatals. I get these off of Vitacost. They come with a ton, but I go through them so quickly. Right now I'm taking three a day and they're great. And my nails have been incredibly strong and long because of these for sure. So would highly recommend them. They are full of amazing ingredients. They're so good for you. So I think they're worth the price because they are a little more expensive. I have the Aveda Color Conserve Shampoo. This protects and preserves color treated hair. I love anything Aveda. I mean, the scent is just the best on every single, oh my goodness. This one was great though. I like all of the ones I've tried. Right now I have the Blue Malba one, the conditioner in my, shower right now, which is good for treating your blonde because sometimes the blonde can get a little brassy looking so it keeps it a little bit more bright. I have that one in my shower right now and 
I don't I think I have the color conserve conditioner too so if you haven't tried Aveda conditioners and your foods you need to try them they smell out of this world and I thought I had the no I don't the rosemary mint is my favorite scent that shampoo conditioner is really good too gotta take a coffee break the girls I think they're in a growth spurt right now because they are up every three hours and Last week they were up, they were, it was kind of every five hours they were sleeping at night and then all of a sudden they're just hungry all the time. I'm watching a lot of TV at night. If you guys have any shows you want to recommend, please leave them in the comment section. Okay, I have another scrub. This one's from Marshalls. This is the Pure and Rain Company Charcoal Scrub Sea, and, sea Salt and Roses and it is really good. This one is more of a gritty scrub as opposed to the deep steep one. It smelled nice, smelled like roses. Uh, I don't know. It wasn't out of this world but it was it was it was good i always have a scrub on hand next i have this product from nukes n-u-x-e nux nukes paris it is the gentle tony lotion face and eyes alcohol free with rose petals i use this as a toner i liked it i liked it i didn't love it, it smells like roses obviously and it was decent. Would I buy it again? Probably not. I have a lot of toners right now to go through. I'm trying to really use up my products because I hate when products expire and I waste them. That is the worst. So I'm really giving a lot of products away to my friends, to my mom, because I'm just looking over there at my beauty closet and it makes me sick because I need to use stuff up. So yes, that is my goal right now. I'm not buying anything until I finish stuff up. Okay, I have a Primal Pit Paste, this is a really good natural deodorant. This is my favorite one I've ever tried at, at this point. The one I like more though is the, um, it's the same uh, deodorant, but it's in a pot. And a lot of you guys recommended that to me and thank you for that because this gets really nasty and it's super hard to rub underneath your arms. It's not soft at all. It works really great so I would use it, but the the one that comes in a pot is so much creamier and it blends out way better than this. So you, it takes a little time to get used to that. I don't mind it anymore. I think a lot of you were recommending one other deodorant and I don't know what it was called, but oh, Piper Way, Piper Way I think. So if you guys have tried both the Piper Way and the Primal Pit Paste, let me know which one you prefer and then when I'm out of my other one, I'll get that one. I also have the Living Proof Perfect Hair Date 5-in-1 Styling Treatment. Really love this. I already have a backup of this. It is a product that you put on wet hair and it kind of does everything for you. Let's see. It smooths, volumizes, conditions, strengthens, and polishes. So I just find that it helps to make my hair look a little bit more polished when I style it. So if you guys, especially if you have frizzy hair, this would be a really good thing for you. Curly hair, just it helps keep your hair a little bit more manageable and it looks... It makes it look really good. I love Living Proof. I love the Perfect Hair Day line. It's really great. Also have the e.l.f. makeup remover cloths. I like these. They were, again, I keep them by my makeup stuff, so I don't use them on my face. But they worked really good for cleaning up my hands and the area. I have a NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in Custard. I used to love this. This is my favorite under eye concealer, but now I find it to be a little bit too drying under my eyes. My skin's getting a little bit more dry and especially in the winter my skin's extra dry. So I just would find that it works really good and it's still one of my favorites, but I would see a little bit of kind of creepiness underneath there. I love the Physician's Formula Concealer RX mixed with the other Physician's Formula one. It is the BB, BB Concealer. I'm out of it though. Maybe it's in here. Yes, here it is. This one's really good too. So it's the Super CC color correction and care concealer. So I would mix this with this together. This one was a little bit too light for my skin. This was a little bit too dark. This is in the shade light medium SPF 30. This is in the shade fair light. And the two together were amazing. My under eyes looked very smooth, concealed, and it just lasted all day. It's just kind of a pain to have to use two different concealers. Uh, but the other one, why can't I find it? Here it is by Mineral Fusion. I really like this one, but I prefer it for blemishes, not underneath my eyes, because it is a little bit heavier. I also have the It Cosmetics Your Skin But Better CC. It's a color correcting full coverage cream plus anti-aging hydrating serum plus SPF 50. This is amazing. I have it in the color light. Whenever anybody asks for a foundation recommendation, that sounds funny, I always tell them this. 
it's not technically a foundation, but I use it like one. It gives me enough coverage. It makes your skin look so radiant and natural. It is so, so good. I rarely use up a foundation, so to use this up says a lot. And I just used this for the first time today. I wanted to show you guys this too. It's by Pure. It's the Bare It All 12 Hour 4-in-1 Skin Perfecting Foundation. I'm using the color light and I love it. I'm trying to see it right now in this mirror, but it's very full coverage. So I'm typically not somebody who likes a more full coverage foundation because I like something that's a little bit more dewy, but this has a demi matte finish. So it's not completely matte, but it's definitely not dewy like the It Cosmetics CC Cream. But right now it's kind of nice. My skin's a little bit splotchy. Uh, it's just a little bit extra red. My sleep has not been the best. So my skin is kind of, um, you can see it in my skin. So if you guys are looking for something a little bit more full coverage, I, I mean, I've only used it once, so I can't really say much, but so far so good. Next I have the Anlu Naturals Meyer Lemmy Lemon Creamy Cleanser. This is so, so good. If you guys want a new cleanser, this one and the Cebu Sea Buckthorn Cleanser are my two favorites of life. I have been using them since, ooh, I wanna say five years now. I go back and forth between the two. Obviously there are other cleansers that I use because I need to use the other ones up, but this one and the Cebu one are my favorite. This one is from their Brightening line, so if you guys have dull skin, I would definitely recommend this. It's for normal combination skin, smells like lemon, it's the best. Next I have the Juice Beauty Stem Cellular Anti-Wrinkle Moisturizer. This is really a great moisturizer. It is a little bit on, more on the pricey side, but it took me a really long time to use up. I found that when I used this, my skin was very moisturized and it did a great job at helping with fine lines, keeping my skin nice and firm. It is, it's really great. Okay, I have two of these cushion types of foundations. This one's by L'Oreal. It's the True Match Lumi Cushion. I have it in the shade N3.5. This is beautiful. It just made my skin look really nice. I love this, but I love the L'Oreal Pro Glow more. That is a beautiful foundation. If you guys want a drugstore option, oh my gosh, it's amazing. And then I have the Pure Air Perfection CC Cushion Foundation. And this one was good too. I do think that the L'Oreal gave me a better finish than this one. Next I have the Becca Perfect Skin Mineral Powder Foundation. I believe this is discontinued, which is a bummer because it is so good. It gives the most beautiful finish on your face. I love this for my under eyes. It was so good. So if you guys know if they replaced it with something, let me know. But yeah, it makes me really sad. I have it in the shade Porcelain, so I'd use it underneath my eyes. It was just a little bit lighter than my skin tone. And then this is the L'Oreal Voluminous Feline Mascara. This was decent. It has a plastic bristle brush, but honestly, I've never tried anything better than Benefit's Roller Lash. It is so good. Next, I have the Cebu Sea Berry Therapy Nourishing Face Cream. Rescue for problematic skin. This is a moisturizer. It's a very lightweight moisturizer, so I would typically use this when my face didn't feel as dry. I would use this in the mornings and then put my SPF on top, but it's so good for your skin. So if you have more oily combination skin, this is a product for you. It promotes tissue recovery and healing. It rejuvenates sun damaged skin, boosts collagen production, and it's paraben and cruelty free. So I would definitely give this next. Yeah. Is the Mineral Fusion Nail Polish Remover. This is a really good nail polish remover that's more safe than your typical one that you'd find at the drugstore. It's acetone free and it's very moisturizing on your skin. It's weird and it actually smells pretty good. I get these all the time. I always get them on Vitacost. I'm always having backups of this. This is the Shea Terra Organics Moroccan Orange Blossom Purifying Facial Water. I got this originally to mix with one of their powders to make a mask and I ended up just using this as a toner. It was fine. It wasn't out of this world. Let me smell it. Yeah, not a fan of the scent. So I probably wouldn't buy this again. Shea Terra products are a little bit expensive. There was one product in particular that I used all the time and I was obsessed with it. What is it called? I think it was an oil for pimples? I don't know. I'm gonna try to find it and I'll try to link it down below for you guys. But there's one product that I loved so much, I have no idea what it's called now. I went through the Zo Organics Belly Butter and I wasn't a huge fan of this because it was really rich and thick. I actually prefer oils. The one that I absolutely love is by Out of Africa. It's their lavender, lavender body oil. It's not 
geared towards stretch marks. Like it says that it helps with stretch marks, but it's not labeled a stretch mark oil. It's just kind of like a body oil. It's really great. Two more products. This one is by Mumsy Maternal Skin Care. It's a gentle cleansing facial wash. So it's free of benzoyl peroxide and salicylic acid. It's 100% natural, 70% organic. This is a product that's good for you guys if you're pregnant and you wanna help with acne and pimples if you break out and you are trying to avoid those ingredients. For me, it wasn't really necessary because I wasn't breaking out. My skin was so good when I was pregnant, I didn't get like any pimples, it was insane. But, I mean, this was a good product. It wasn't anything that I was, I don't know, in love with. I just kept it in my shower. And last, I have a product from Made From Earth. This is their Blueberry Organic Lip Balm. I love this. I know it's kind of weird to love a chapstick, but it was so moisturizing. It has vitamin E in here and it has antioxidants, it can, it's chemical free, and I kept this in our, in our bathroom and it was really good. So those are all my empties. I feel like it was a lot of products and I'm so excited to throw them away because when it gets all built up in my closet, it makes me go crazy. So I hope you guys enjoyed this and got some good recommendations. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you like empties and don't forget to subscribe to my channel to see all of my new uploads. That's it for today. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and I will see you very soon.